As a little girl, I wouldn't say that we were underprivileged at all, but my parents definitely worked very hard to make a dime and get food on our table. My childhood was one of the most challenging times in my life. As a little girl who was never taught the values of self-love, self-worth, dealing with verbal and physical abuse didn't really make sense to a kid. All I felt were emotions. Emotions of confusion, anger, guilt, and fear. I wished more than anything to be good enough for everyone in my life. I felt very alone as a kid, so I spent time in either two ways. One, countless hours in my bedroom doing what I loved the most. Painting, drawing, writing stories, creation was my home. Or two, being in my element by spending time adventuring the forest in front of my house. Tell me, do you read my mind? Feels like it. Hit me with the perfect line. Good timing. You asked to come back to my place. I knew when I looked at your face. You did me wrong in the right way. Limits down when I want to breathe. Give me some of that energy. You're the language I want to speak. But every time I talk, I'm tongue tied. Lost in the middle of my mind. Giving to my feelings tonight. So if you're willing, know that I'm right. I'm just come and get it, get it. I don't you forget what I like. Giving to my feelings tonight. So if you're willing, know that I'm right. I'm just come and get it, get it. At 26, I hit rock bottom, and I needed to get out. So every day for two years, I journaled my way out of anxiety and depression that took over me. Every day for a year, I meditated my way out of a mental hole that I felt trapped in. Eventually, I left my nine to five to go full time into Savage Bay. And now here we are. We all have a choice. We always have a choice. To stay in a relationship with someone who isn't serving us. To leave a job that's draining. To say no to that party or event next weekend. The largest reason why most of us are unhappy is because we spend so much time trying to impress or please others by doing something that just really doesn't light our soul on fire. Well, I'm over it. That was me. Live your life, do what you love to do, and stop apologizing for being who you are. to run by societal conditioning or you can choose to run by your heart.